Hello and welcome to our new lesson. In this lesson, we will talk about how we can add our lightweight access point to our wireless LAN setup and how we can get it, the IP address that it needs from the server. First of all, we will go and add a new lightweight access point. So let me just clear my access point that I previously configured. And I will go under network devices, under wireless devices, and I will choose LAP, which is Lightweight Access Point Packet Tracer. I will choose it, put it down here. Then I will go to connections and add a new connection from it, from Lightweight Access Point to my multi-layer switch. And from here, I will wait for it to get connected and get all the lights to be green. After it gets green, I can now name this access point. I will go to under config and I will say that this is AP1. And from here, I will choose DHCP. I could also give the static gateway and DNS servers, but I have a DHCP server. And I can just go and choose DHCP, which is the default. And under Gigabit Ethernet 0, I, have, I don't have any configuration options. And this will be the only thing that I will need for, in terms of configuration. And to get the IP address, I will go and open my server. And under server, under services, I will go and check my DHCP. In here, you will see how we can configure it in detail in another video, but generally it will be this configuration and you will choose your default gateway, DNS server, the start IP address, subnet mask, maximum number of users. But the important thing is VLC address. If you have the VLC address here, you're good to go. You need to make sure that this service is on and it is on the Gigabit Ethernet port. And on DNS, you will add cisco catwap controller DNS record. This is for your access point to get the VLC address without even going for the DHCP option. If you don't want to add this one, you can go and add it on the DNS. And with the help of the HCP server, your access point will also get the DNS server address. So it will find it under here and it will resolve it to 192.168.1.100, which is the IP address of our wild send controller. After completing this step, we will wait for our access point to get an IP address. Let's check it out. When you go to go and hover over access point one, you will see that Gigabit Ethernet 0 has the IP address of 192.168.1.207 and it is its cap up status is connected to 192.168.1.100 and it is providing wildstands VETC, which is VATC, and it is connected to our wildstand controller. Now let's go and check it on our wildstand controller. So let's go to our PC, which is our management PC, and we can go and check it on 192.168.1.100. We will go and add the username and the password. And after that, you will log in and see the access under wireless. You will see the access points and you will see our access point, which is 192.168.1.207. And you will see it's AP Mac and you will also see its uptime, the status, operational status, which is registered, and SPOE status. So in this video, we went over and saw how to add an access point to our wireless setup on Packet Tracer successfully, so that we will be able to have a connection and cap web tunnel on from access point to our wireless and controller. I hope it has been beneficial for you. Thank you for watching.